he'd called himself the Man of Steel. Joseph Stalin had ruled the Soviet Union with an iron fist, but his death plunged the country into shock. In Moscow, hundreds of thousands of people queued to see the body of a man some believed was immortal. Boris Brazhovsky says he'll never forget the crowds that day. So densely packed, he could hardly move. It took him 15 hours to reach the hall where Stalin lay in state. At one point, Boris was pressed up against this lamppost and nearly suffocated. Some people were crushed to death. It felt as if my own father had died, because from the moment we started school, we were brainwashed about Stalin. He was everything to us. But now I feel ashamed that I went to see his body. A man who murdered so many people doesn't deserve to be remembered. Here on the edge of Moscow lie some of Joseph Stalin's victims. In this place, at least 20,000 prisoners were executed by Stalin's secret police and their bodies dumped into mass graves. Soviet workers and peasants, engineers and office clerks, they'd been declared enemies of the people. What happened here was repeated across the Soviet Union. The wave of terror unleashed by Joseph Stalin against his own people claimed millions of innocent lives and turned the USSR effectively into a giant prison camp. And yet, astonishingly, today many Russians view Stalin not as a murderer or a monster, but as a hero. Surveys show that today around half the Russian public view Stalin as a positive figure, as the man who won the Second World War for the Soviet Union. Last century. Even young Russians, like these 16-year-old students, have learned to praise the late dictator. Many things can excuse Stalin. He was a very strong person. Because of Stalin, I think, we rose and we became a very strong country. But millions of people died or were sent to the gulag. Not all of these people were good and not all of these people were suffering because of nothing. Sixty years after his death, Russia appears to be witnessing the rehabilitation of Joseph Stalin. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.